I don't say things just to say them. I'm, I'm not that dude. I don't traffic in half-truths just to get a reaction from the masses. I hope that's not me. And I'm also a sports fan, so I understand what I'm saying here. I think Connor McDavid could be the best athlete on planet Earth right now. I think Connor McDavid is the best athlete in the world right now. The things that he is doing right now are generational or flat out have never been done before. Like nine multi-point games in 10 playoff outings. Nobody, not Gretzky, not Orr, not Lemieux, nobody has ever done that. And his team has needed every shred of his 23 points through 10 playoff games, which by the way, only Gretzky and Lemieux have had more through 10 playoff games in NHL history. And there are many of us who thought nobody would ever match those numbers from Gretzky and Lemieux ever again. It's almost as if McDavid heard all the Matthews for heart chatter and took it to another level. Like it was, like it was Jordan with a scotch and a cigar in the last dance, and he took that personally. Oh, yeah? Matthews, Hart, all right. And if you think it's just a run, you're wrong. Not only does he have 146 points in his last 90 games, but he has 123 points in the regular season this year. That's tied for third highest total since the turn of the millennium. Think of it this way. When he was drafted in 2015, the leading scorer in the NHL was Jamie Benn with 87 points. He just put up 123. McDavid has had 100 points in five of his six seasons since his rookie year was ended because of an injury back in 2016. From 2010 to 2016, there were only four 100-point seasons in the entire NHL. And his grand total of 228 points in just 136 games over the last two regular seasons puts him at a 1.68 points per game clip. Only four other players have done that since 1990, and he's the first since Lemieux and Jagger in 97 to do so. Okay, so he's at Gretz and Mario levels in hockey, which is stupid, and many of us thought we would never see that again. And look around the rest of the sports world. LeBron's on a decline. Serena hasn't been to the top in a while. There's no Usain Bolt. Lewis Hamilton has been caught. Messi and Ronaldo, downside of unbelievable careers. Who's the best football player right now? It's a convo, is it not? Oh, yeah. Like Brady all time, yes. But right now, who's the best football player in the world? Tiger was unreal. Shohei Otani, maybe. But he's only done it for one year. And is he dominant in one? Or is he just really, really good in both? Maybe Novak Djokovic? I don't. I don't say this kind of stuff often, and winning a championship would take it to another level. But he's the most dominant athlete in the world right now, and because of that, the best? Jesse? I think, Timmy, it is an indisputable fact at this point in time really? that Connor McDavid is the most dominant athlete. Uh, if you're talking is that about the same thing, is it, is the dominant athlete and the best athlete? That's why I, I pose it as a question at the end. Are those the same thing? Well, I think best you can get into the conversation of individual uh, sports as well. Well, I put those in there. I put tennis. And yeah, I, put I think golf Damian in there. Warner uh, deserves consideration. I think when he did what he did at the Olympics, we were having that conversation, was and putting he, him in in that conversation. But was he as dominant as McDavid is in his discipline? And obviously, his discipline is ten. So right. that change, like I always feel like the decathlete is always in the conversation, but it's always kind of a separate conversation. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to quantify because they are, like technically speaking, probably the most athletic people that exist right. when you perform right. in the decathlon, right? And LeBron James in his prime was the most athletic yes. person by far in the world. But you also could have said for a time Russell Westbrook was maybe the most athletic person right, in the world. Right, right. So yeah, Run, I guess jump. Right? Like, right. So I guess athletic and, and, or I guess dominant and best. I would put best in the more athletic categories. But so I don't want to split these atoms. I just, are those the same thing? Are, is the best athlete in the world the most dominant athlete in the world? Yeah. I'm gonna I go think with so. That. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go with that. Yeah. Um, I was giving this a lot of thought earlier, and I thought 
The only one that I think that comes close is Steph Curry. And the reason I say that is because when it comes to winning and winning time and the ability to take over, he's the one guy that I think and I have thought over the past five years or so that has the ability to get it done and take over when it matters. And I realize that he's not on the same stratosphere because the ability to do it by yourself is something that I think McDavid, it's unmatched. But when it matters, and he's proven because he's got the rings now, and he's doing it again yeah. right now, but I think that's where I would go. I think you're making a false equivalency because you like Steph, and you're equating winning to most dominant athlete. Like, if you were to talk to NBA fans and ask them the best player in the NBA right now, I don't think you'd get as many answers for Steph as you would yeah. Connor McDavid being the best player in the NHL. I think that's right, but I also thought about this because when you're looking at the MVP in the NBA, Steph isn't in that conversation this season. No. But Connor McDavid's not going to win the heart either. But he's going to be second in a close vote that's probably based on narrative more than anything else. And I, I said on this show mm -hmm. that I would probably vote for Matthews for Hart. And now I wish I could take that back. <laughs> well, you because I knew what it was. It was a, it's a narrative-driven trophy, oftentimes MVP in a sport. And... McDavid's already got two. Drysaddle's got one. Give Matthews his because not many people have ever scored 60 in the NHL and certainly not many since the turn of the century, right? Like, what are we at, three for that? Yeah. So I, I get that you was a, a, maybe an open door to give someone else the award, and people are going to do that. I think Matthews will win the heart. But I also think if you ask anyone for one player on your team, Given what you've seen mm -hmm. in these 10 playoff games, there's there's absolutely no doubt right now. Yeah, I mean, but you, I can push back on that a bit because you don't you wouldn't have to take your vote away or change your vote because it's, it's obvious that he has taken his game now to a level that was not there during the regular season. No, I know, but we could be seeing, like, the greatest season since Lemieux or Gretzky, and he's not going to win the heart. <laughs> <laughs> like, right now, we're, we're this is at... Unforeseen. I, I never thought we would get to a level where we were talking about guys like Mario and Gretz. I honestly didn't. I thought those numbers were a relic. They were going to be like Wilt Chamberlain, yeah. honestly, in basketball, where you're just like 200 points. Give me a break. And at the start of the year, you were talking about McDavid in 200 point levels. But now we're at like in the postseason, and he's doing it physically. He's doing like he has just dragged his entire team to a spot that I don't think many of us saw coming. Now, listen, Hyman's been good. Drysaddle, banged up, has been good. Smith has been good. But do we have the clip, guys, of, of Jay Woodcroft earlier today? Here, here's what his head coach had to say, because people are running out of things to say about McDavid. And here's how his head coach put it, and I thought, man, this is exactly what we're talking about. He's inspiring every person in our organization to be the best that they can be, whether it's Richard in the mail room or Shauna in, in HR. Um, you know, he's somebody with the what he's bringing to the table each and every day. Um, it, it is uh, pushing this entire organization and our city um, forward. And um, it's special. Um, and what I see every day. It is special. Yeah. I mean, is no there question. a Shauna in HR, by the way? <laughs> shout, shout out Shauna in HR. <laughs> That's good. Um,